Hello, um, in this video I, I've just finished a photo shoot and um, before that photo shoot I did a very quick video just to show you what's in my bag for this year and explain what's changed for me um, equipment wise but what I forgot to tell you is that one of the major changes that I have implemented this year is how I edit my photos. Um, it's all thanks to one person, that is Guy Goen. And his actions in Photoshop have revolutionized how I edit. And hopefully, if you look down the links below, get on board with him because he will save you so much time and he will almost give you another camera. With the camera you have now, you can extract so much more information with a click of a button. And in his videos, he also teaches you how to build your own actions so you can um, customize them for yourself. So click on the link below, check him out. He's guygoing.com. Um, he's a terrific chap as well. I like to call him one of my friends. Um, so enjoy the rest of this video. I'll see you inside the room. My name is Adrian Hyde of Adrian Hyde Photography and today I'm going to show you what's in my bag. I like to do this uh, once a year and just to show myself what, what's changed and for me this year not a lot has changed. A couple of things. Uh, first of all I bought myself a GoPro. Um, I use this a lot for, for different things. Um, going swimming and put it in the water, which, which has really been good. Uh, another thing has changed is I've got a different bag. This time I've got the Logistics 30, oh, which it's a big bag. But um, the Think Tank, uh, Think Tank Airport 2, the, the, big, the biggest one that you can get, was okay. It did well, but it, for me, it still had stuff hanging off the side. This bag, I can hold everything for one shoot. For one shoot, in it's been brilliant. I got it from the uh, the Flash Center, as all my Ellen Crom stuff I got from the Flash Center. If you need any advice about lighting or anything, talk to them. They are absolutely brilliant. The customer service is really really good so with the Ellen Crom stuff um, I bought a new yeah I did buy one and it's the 80 I won't, I won't put it up it's the 80 centimeter octobox and oh, I love it the, the light out of that is beautiful right so let's get into this and see what is in here. This is a Think Tank 30. This is the smaller management box. You can see it opens up nice and easily. Whoa! And you can't see from that, so I'll do this. So, around. So this is all I have in there at the moment. And like I said before, not much, not a great deal has changed. So in here I have the stands. One, two, three, four. So four stands. The four stands which I can now pretty much shoot anything from, which is really good for me and obviously the, the, the holders, the flash guns on there. This spider, phenomenal. I use it a hell of a lot. It's very good. It's, I got fed up with camera straps being around here, dangling around here with this. Fits here, and it's on it's on your hips, and I found it really nice, easy to use. So one of those. 
I'm still shooting the D800. It's a, oh, it's a bit big nowadays, but for me now, I can't see me changing it for, I just can't see me changing it in the near future. It's just such a good camera. And if you go, if you're not so much of a gearhead and you don't want all the latest stuff, this camera is still pretty good. It's, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's still phenomenal. It's still a really good bit of kit. It's more important what you put on front of it, of course. And on front of this, at the moment, I've got the 70 to 200 2.8 Nikon lens. So I'll put that there. Along with um, the, the, the strap holder for this. So I've still got the same lenses as before. I haven't changed anything. I'm just going to look lenses now. This is a prime lens. This is a 105. I'll lay this down because I don't want it to fall off the table. It's a 105 2.8 macro. I use that a lot for portraiture as well. Um, when I do the weddings, it's for the, the wedding rings, close ups, so that's what I use that for. But like I said, I use that a lot for portraits as well. I also have the other, the other lens, it says 24 to 72.8 Nikon. Now, it's these it, are very expensive, but you get what you pay for. They are they are they're always my go-to lens. I probably use now more than any any before seventy to two hundred for the portraiture work that I do. If I need a bit of variation and um, reach. On the zoom then yeah I'll use that if I'm pretty close and they're, they're sitting there I would always pick this one up 105 I love that lens lens wise okay so that is that's the lenses out I think that's what the lenses out oh, I thought I had a 50 in here somewhere I think the 50 is here oh let's get this out 50 should be here Oh, the nifty 50. Yeah, yeah, the nifty 50 is here. Oh no, sorry. The other one is 70, no, not 70. It's the 20, uh, 10 to 20 um, Sigma lens, which I use from time to time. It's very, very rarely used that one. I use that one for, for back of the church. It was been moving before. On a tripod, get some height. On a tripod, tilt the camera over, pull it on a timer, click, click, click. And then you get a lovely overview of the church, of the people there. It's very, very wide. That's what I use that one for mainly, is, is just that. So, that is, that's my lenses. Normally I carry a 50 with me, but I haven't got it with me. So that is, that's the shooting and lens adoption. Now the lighting, I I love Elinchrom, as you can see. Love Elinchrom. And by the way, hello Brett Florence. You know why I'm saying hello to you, Brett, because well you're probably not even watching, but you know why. And if you ever want to what look at any of Brett's work, it's fantastic. He's um if you want to ever want to see a story which in, um, which gets you here and gets you thinking, and then Brett, the way what he's done, where he's come from, um, if he can do it, um, anyone can. Um, yeah, he's he's a really good, very good story, very good story, brilliant photographer. Right, so all about that. Batteries. <laughs> we have many, many batteries. Now, I, like I said, I love um, Elinchrom, but I haven't been able to move fully away from Elin um, fully away from Yong Newell because um, the Yong Newell still do wonderful flashes. I would love to move away from them, but it's a big but. To my knowledge, Elinchrom at the moment do not do flash. They do triggers and they do receivers, 
to fire on any other flash gun, but they don't do flash guns, which I don't know. Perhaps they will one day and then I can move completely over. So my solution to this was to get two of these 685s with a, let's find it in here, with a, somewhere in here. Of course I have the receivers for the flash guns. I have, ooh, um, I, let's just go, this is a speed light, um, SB800, now I'm going a little off subject. 800 is dedicated flash for this and I can just stick it on there fully, on fully automatic and I don't have to think about anything. So that is why I've got this one, but also I use it as a manual flash as well. So I'll put that there with the flashes. So the, how we trigger all of this, um, first of all, is I use the Skyport HS. Now we have the ELB 400. They do have a new one out, but at the moment I haven't upgraded. I don't have any plans to upgrade it either, because this is um, such, so, so good. Phenomenal bit of kit, very expensive. Wow. I suppose it's expensive to what you want to think about expense wise but the thing with it is it's extremely good it's um, high sync speed sync so you can overpower the sun and it is a phenomenal pack and this is the light itself it's very very small it's a quadra um, hs high speed head uh, and this is the wire for it so this is this this and this is your flash and it's really powerful but like I said the problem with this is they, they um, if you want some other lights you must have some flashes and at the moment they don't do them so my solution was oh hello ah hello ah Phil Phil I was just doing a, a video but you can come in well, well, no, no, come on, 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 Two remote flashes. Now the other remotes didn't work as well as these. So I've got the 685 along with the this. And what this allows me to do is to stack the, so if I turn this on, you'll see. Turn this on. Now rather than me walking backwards and forwards all the time, I can operate it with this. I can up and down the power, but then the problem with that is the trigger, whatever it is, this trigger won't fire those. But if I look at this, so that flashes, so I can still move this up and down. If I put this on, this is the receiver on there. Turn this on. You turn this on. Goes. I can now fire this using this. But if I have this in my pocket, I can still put this power up and down. So for me, that was the solution. So we have in my, in my bag, I have two flashes. Smart A and B, and I also have one. Love to get rid of one of these, but no reasons why now. This, the other trigger. Come, come in, come in, right? Come and join the party. Don't want to be in the way. Come, no, no, come in. So we have um, three receivers, and now I can fire all three of these. It's brilliant. What else we got in here? Yeah, and now, these rogue. 
three in one flash. So these are the little discs you put on top of the flash guns here, and this channels the light really nicely. So they are the grids, there's a three in one grid. I also have two of these flash benders. Two, two flash benders, two of those. Uh, they, this is a beauty dish for that system, the Enercom system, and there's the other one. Got three of those, the beauty dish. Yeah, that's a beauty dish. Brilliant. Ah, uh, what else we got? Ah, see. This. The other part of this, now this convert, this is a converter to convert to all the regular size Enercom um, beauty dishes and all the Enercom light shapers. So that is that, and of course, the last thing is the rotor light light Neo 2, which is fantastic. That is a beautiful light. Uh, up here we have the batteries, and in here we have what do we have in here? We have ooh, different colours for the flashes. Um, what else we got in there? That's about it, and there's just rubbish in there really. Cables, more cables. That's, a, that's about it. So I think, um, oh in here we just, I just keep sometimes a laptop. Um, in here I've just got a mic on here. Oh there. SD card. Always a good thing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So